I would like to invite Senator Nizzolio to the stage. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a nice place to be on this cold and wintry night. You can feel the warmth all around. And Mayor Quill, you, you do okay with hugs. <laughs> I have the wonderful honor of representing Auburn for the last 34 years. It's been my second home. It's been my second home. Uh, there's so many unique, wonderful things about this community that uh, in high school I came to Auburn and played Mount Carmel in football. <laughs> You're all too young to remember Mount Carmel. I still have nightmares about that day. I built. Mayor Quill has uh, been a wonderful friend through the years. And uh, before you knew him as a politician, which isn't all that bad, all the time, <laughs> but the fact is, uh, I knew Mayor Quill, when he wasn't mayor, he was a fireman. And a wonderful hero who laid his life on the line every day and went to work to protect us. Uh, let's give Mayor Quill a thank you. <laughs> probably after me, uh, right after me, is Assemblyman Gary Finch. And Gary, it's been my joy to work with you uh, through the years. Assemblymen and Senators uh, have to be partners in order to get things done. Uh, I didn't have to be your partner, I wanted to be your partner. You're a great advocate for this community, a wonderful man, uh, one that I greatly admire, who will always consider a friend. And thank you for your service. Sean McLeod, your two greatest accomplishments were up here this evening. Devin and Jeremy, congratulations uh, for growing up so well. And Devin, you are poised, beautiful, uh, vivacious, and uh, outgoing. Uh, you better watch out, or you might be running for office soon. <laughs> It would be wonderful. Auburn has so many wonderful things. Uh, you know that. Uh, it's rich history. It's wonderful people. A, an inclusive environment where people came uh, to Auburn uh, to raise their families, to work hard, and to be together. And many gems have uh, come as a result of the communities at work. Sean McLeod is by far one of those gems. <laughs> a worldwide reputation of one who has uh, taken his art form and communicated with many different people, many different organizations, many different groups. A wonderful ambassador for not just Auburn, not just New York State, but the entire United States. One who has dedicated himself to be a teacher, uh, to be one who coaches. Now we talk a lot about you know, the, the football coaches and the basketball coaches, uh, they get all the notoriety. Sean has been a life coach to the athletes that he had prepared. And you have to be an athlete, certainly to do what you just did, and uh, to dance uh, in any kind of fashion. It's an athletic endeavor. My wife's favorite program is Dancing with the Stars. You ever watch that? Well, I get a kick out of once in a while walking by the TV set and watching it. I, I, I'm not going to, to watch television a lot, but I get a kick out of the former athletes, particularly the football players, who have to work very, very hard not to look foolish on that program. The fact is, it's a wonderful athletic endeavor, dance that is a beautiful expression, as you gave us just a few moments ago, a beautiful expression of, of thought, of emotion, of passion, 
accompanied by music, what could be nicer? And that's what Sean dedicated his life to. And everybody I have ever talked to that had gone through Sean's boot camp <laughs> and then uh, further engaged in the class and the uh, theater and the workshops and was, and in effect, one of his pupils. They went far and wide, and I've talked to many of them who had the kind of admiration uh, for Sean that an athlete would have with his coach or her coach, that a mentor would provide an individual, and that's what Sean has been, a mentor to many. I've been honored to partner with Sean on some things. I wish there could have been more things, but I hope in the future they may be. But the fact is, uh, he has done such great things for this community, the, the people of this community, the youth of this community. Uh, I came here tonight because I wanted to. I wanted to share with you my thoughts about this wonderful person. A few weeks ago, Sean did a wonderful favor for me. He came to uh, the Smith Hopper House in Geneva, where over 800 people listened to a lot of speeches uh, about me. It was very nice. It was wonderful. Sean gave a terrific speech that just honored me so much. And a little while into the program, when we had some music, what do you think Sean did? <laughs> We're all sitting on stage in a whole row with about 10 speakers. And when the music played, what do you think Sean did? You're right, he got up and danced in front of 800 people that brought the house down. I, to your fortune, will not do that tonight. I know Assemblyman Finch has a proclamation and I have one as well. Um, his is a lot larger than mine, uh, and I appreciate uh, uh, his going through that to, to present this. I'm not going to read this verbatim. Uh, I said from the heart what it is for. It's to recognize a wonderful New Yorker, a great American, a citizen of the world uh, who has received numerous awards including the Jefferson Award of Public Service to America, who that award was founded by uh, late, the late Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, our former first lady. The New York State Liberty Award, which I was very honored to present to Sean. The NAACP Millennium Award, and the American Red Cross Great American Heroes Award. These are just a small list of the recognitions uh, that Sean had received. And I uh, wanted to chronicle them, as well as celebrating the 25th anniversary. And we figured out Devon was minus four years old when this started. <laughs> 25th, 25 years, a quarter century of serving uh, in this wonderful capacity. Uh, there will be many, many more of these celebrations. I'm honored to be at this one. Congratulations to my dear friend, Sean McLeod. If you don't you give it a chance, you'll never know the glories that you can find just by trying.